David, you asked for a good start and you definitely got that. Two goals in the first 17 minutes and you never really looked back, did you? No, we didn't. I've got to say we had a great start. We had a great support from the first minute. And uh, I think it inspired the players as well. They, they had a real good good go right at the start and thankfully we got a couple of early goals. It just shows how quickly the picture can change you now up to 14th in the table. Yeah, well, look, we've been... We think we're good enough to be up there. We've dropped down over recent results, haven't been good enough, but uh, thankfully today's was. And you mentioned the atmosphere again, something you called for along with Mark Noble and the owners in the programme today. And from the get-go, the fans were completely behind the sound. I think the supporters were great. I think they have been great here. I think there's been one or two maybe, uh, like happened in the last game. But overall, you know, the atmosphere in the stadium has been terrific. It really has. But I think the players gave them something to shout about today. I think the players showed how much they cared and, and, you know, the way things went in the last home game. And a word on the man of the match, Marko Arnautovic. Two goals from him. He's up to nine now for the season. He's in great form at the moment. Yeah, we, you know, we think he's, he's doing a terrific job. He's been great since he's gone up front. Uh, he missed a big chance before that, or he could, have, uh, he could easily had a hat-trick today. But that's Marco, and he's capable of doing it, and he's, he's making a big difference for us, I've got to say. After his uh, first goal, he appeared to turn around and direct a few gestures and words, perhaps, to Mark Hughes in the dugout. Did you see that? No, I think that over the, over the time, you know, you, you come up against people, and I think probably uh, Marco has maybe had words with Mark over the, over the time of work, but nothing, nothing worth talking about. And just finally, an update on the Mikel Antonio, who went off very early on? I've no update on it. I've not spoke to the physios. I'm just in there. So pleased that the players have won the game, but I'll find out tomorrow when we when we get back into the training grounds.